Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Joe and I'm here. I, I want to explain this little device here. This little machine is called a nebulizer. What it does, it's a mechanical device which can, has components. This part is just a tube extending from the machine to this little cup here. As you can see, it's not much. It has a like a little cap that go protruding from it leading up with a hole that shoots off puffs of smoke. This little device goes inside. As you can see, it looks like a funnel and it also has a little hole at the top. That goes inside the cap. Inside that cap, there's a vial of medication that goes in there. This is called Iprat Petrobromide. And in a minute I'll explain what you do. What you do is just twist this piece up here and it opens up and you dispense the liquid inside. Once inside, you attach this part on top by screwing it on like this. And then once it's on and screwed in, you attach this third piece inside there. Ah, well, it goes inside. And um, what it does, you use that, that mouthpiece to, to ingest the medication into your to your body. The purpose of this machine is to dispense medication for people suffering from asthma, bronchitis, or any other diseases which belong to a class called um, of disease which is COPD, which stands for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. This little machine, believe it or not, is really quite handy. What it does is to you take the medication every six hours at the beginning in order to loosen up the phlegm that collects or mucus that collects within the airways and allowing the individual to breathe. Currently there is no uh, cure for, uh, for COPD and as it stands right now there are 16 million people in the country who have COPD and the expected projection is for 65 million by the year 2050. It's not a terribly expensive machine. If you have your insurance it'll pay for it and the medication itself lasts every once a month amounts to about a hundred dollars a month. This machine when taken over time allows the individual to breathe to where they can function on a normal business day, every day, whether it's going to work or doing your household chores. It allows you to breathe. It's a very functional device. And as of yet, like I said, nobody knows what the cures are because there's so many. It could even be pneumonia, which leads up. What it amounts to is lung damage. I hope. They may not seem like much, but to the individual that needs it, even though they say it's primarily caused by smoking, I was born with uh, asthma, so I've always had it. It's something I just dealt with. Uh, I really don't know what else to say, but um, I hope you find this interesting. And if you have anything to say, please feel free and let me know. I'd like to understand myself. Thank you.